In this video, we will set up the solver options for a counterflow plate heat exchanger. We'll enable the energy model, create and modify material for our two fluids, apply our mass flow rate boundary conditions, and set up a report plot of the outlet temperature. If you started the fluent solver from fluent meshing or workbench, you should see the mesh in the display window. Otherwise, it needs to be read in independently. Go to File, Read, and Mesh. For this model, we'll use the steady, pressure-based solver. The pressure solver works for many of the problems solved in Fluent. The density-based solver is generally used for highly compressible flow, such as high Mach number flow. Double-click models to expand the tree. We need to enable the energy equation because we are ultimately interested in the heat transfer physics. Next, we need to consider turbulence. Our flow is low speed. You should check the Reynolds number. In this case, they are well below the transition and turbulent regimes, so we will use the laminar model, which is the default in Fluent. Next, we'll define oil and water as our materials. We can see Fluent's default is air. Click Create and Edit. We could use the standard materials database here on the right, which has many built-in materials. In this case, however, we'll go ahead and define our own. First, we'll give it a name, water. And we'll make a simplifying assumption that the properties will be constant within our temperature range. Set the density to 992, the specific heat to 4182, thermal conductivity 0.625, and viscosity to 0 0.000725. Click Change and Create, and select No to this dialog box. This will keep the air material, and instead create our new material. Now we need to do the same for oil. Give it a name, and set the density to 852, lower than water, specific heat to 2131, thermal conductivity to 0 0.138, and viscosity to 0 0.0325, higher than water. Click Change and Create, and No. In the Materials task page, we can now see oil, water, and air as the available materials. In the Create and Edit Materials box, we can edit any of these by choosing them from the Fluent Fluid Materials drop-down list. Next, we need to apply our materials to the relevant cell zones. Expand Cell Zone Conditions. We can see our five oil and five water plates here. If we choose oil one, we can see the type is fluid. Click edit. Under material name, switch to oil. Now we can copy the information from this cell zone to the four remaining zones. Click copy. We'll choose oil one as the original and the remaining four oil zones as the copies. We'll do the same thing for water. Our next task is to set up the boundary conditions. When we expand the boundary conditions, we can see all the name selections we made in SpaceClaim. To help us find things faster, let's sort the list by zone type. We can right-click boundary conditions and group by zone type. We can also organize the list by choosing zone type from this option as well. For our oil inlets, we have our mass flow inlet which was correctly brought in by fluent meshing. We have 0.02 kilograms per second coming into the domain. For the direction, we'll choose normal to boundary. And for the thermal boundary condition, we'll set 353 Kelvin. Just like the cell zone conditions, we can copy this to the other oil inlets. Next, we'll set up our water inlets. For the water inlet, we have 0.04 kilograms per second. Again, we'll use normal to boundary. 
and our thermal boundary condition is 308 Kelvin. For the oil outlet, we have our pressure outlet. We'll leave zero gauge pressure and 300 Kelvin. This is only used in the case that there is backflow from the outlet into the domain. Hopefully there won't be any backflow, but at the beginning it's always possible. For any flow coming into the domain, Fluent needs to know that boundary condition. Let's verify the same for the water outlet. This concludes part one of the setup of a plate heat exchanger. In the next video, we will finish the setup by choosing the solver options and begin the calculations. Thank you for watching.